begin, it is important to understand that the complaint handling and reporting process is a component of the overall quality system. One of the key components to a successfully implemented complaint handling process is to understand and to cover process interdependencies. Product safety assurance is a continuous cycle that's made up of development, surveillance, correction and improvement, and monitoring, resulting in a higher level of product quality with each iteration of the cycle. These interdependencies can be illustrated by the product safety assurance model that we'll now see in detail. When we look at a product safety assurance cycle, the heart of the quality system is management controls. As with any quality system, there has to be a top-down commitment to quality and regulatory compliance. From executive management down to the individual contributor, all employees must embrace quality as a key part of their job. Additionally, it is necessary to have senior and executive management involved in monitoring every aspect of the quality system to provide oversight and to ensure regulatory requirements are met. Risk management is another component of the product safety assurance cycle that is central to the quality system. Risk plays a role in all other components, including being a critical factor in determining which complaints are reportable. The product safety assurance cycle begins with design, manufacture, and service. This component includes the quality system elements of design control, production and process controls, inspection and testing, handling storage and delivery, service and installation, as well as purchasing and supplier controls. The next component of the cycle relates to the fact that product and its associated processes are monitored throughout the product life cycle. The component of product and process surveillance includes complaint handling, control of non-conforming product, design development defect management, internal auditing, and supplier monitoring and audits. Additionally, outputs of this component is where we have complaint or more appropriately termed adverse event reporting, as well as recall reporting. Continuing on, as a result of surveillance activities based on evaluating identified issues, investigations may be required to reach resolution. As a result of evaluation, and this includes data analysis, and investigations, corrections, corrective actions, and preventive actions may be required and directly linked back to further product and process improvements. Along the entire product safety assurance cycle, training and document and records control support the other cycle components. Good training and documentation practices are essential to compliance and to enable one to show and to prove that the quality system is compliant to the applicable regulations and the regulatory agencies.